came as a special request from a little boy up in Atlanta. And our topic is, can you guess? Spike superhero. Superhero. Characters out there flying around like that, saving old girls like me. Lord knows kids like Henry need a hero. Courageous, self-sacrificing people, setting examples for all of us. Everybody loves a hero. People line up for them, cheer them, scream their names, and years later they'll tell how they stood in the rain for hours just to get a glimpse of the one who taught them to hold on. Okay. Longer. All right. Name your favorite super superhero. Oh, go ahead. What's your favorite? Spidey. Spidey Man. And how about you, Brooksy? Uh, which one's the girl, though? That's, uh, that's Wonder Woman. Who's and your favorite, Brooks? Spider. Two Spider-Man favorites. Okay. Now, I thought you liked Batman. Did you know who is the most popular superhero of all time? Is it A, Batman, B, Superman, C, Spider-Man, or D, Wonder Woman? What do you say, Brooksy? Um, Spider-Man? Okay, C, Spider-Man. What do you say, Bo? Oh, Bo, Bat Batman. Bo goes first. Bo goes first. Bat Batman. 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 So Bo says Batman, and, and Brooksy says Spider-Man. No, no, no. I don't say Spider-Man. The, the most popular superhero ever is Superman. Because he can fly. He's got superhero qualities. Let's see it. Okay, where does Superman get his power? Where does Superman get his power? Does he get it from eating spinach? Or from eating candy bars? Or from taking kryptonite? Or from quiet meditation? Kryptonite. Well, Brooks, quiet meditation. Brooks, you say C, kryptonite. What do you say, Bo? Quiet. Meditation. Quiet meditation, that's where he gets his power? Well, yeah. the answer is C. Superman gets his power from kryptonite. It's a special power source. What is Superman's real name? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Did you know Superman was a real person and then he turns into Superman? Okay. Yes. So is his real name Clark Kellogg or is it Chase Young or is it Clark Kent? What do you say, Bo? Clark Kent. Clark Kent. What do you say, Brooks? Same thing as Bo. Is somebody helping Bo? Clark Kent, number three. And the answer is Clark Kent. Here he is. Watch what happens. Watch, watch, watch. Can I hold Here's it? Clark. Oh, you need to go to work. Now he's Superman. He's gonna go save the planet and rescue people in distress. Wouldn't that be fun to fly like that? Yeah. What is uh, this is a super easy question. Okay, so what is Spider-Man's real name? Let's let Brooks go first. Is it Parker, Peter Pan? Parker, is Parker, it Peter Parker, Parker? Or is it Pete Townsend? What do you say, Brooks? Parker. Peter Parker? What do you say, Bo? Peter Parker. I just Are you sure? Yeah, Are you sure? I've seen it. Her name's Chris Peter. Okay, the answer is Peter Parker. Here is Peter. Watch this, this is so cool. Oh man, this is where he first discovers he's Spider-Man. Oh, he sees the net, the web. Look at his hands. Oh my goodness. You know what that helps him do, right? 
Al Peter Parker can climb buildings. Look at that, will you? If you could have one superpower, Brooks and Bo, one superpower, what would it be? The hardest one, climbing up the skyscrapers. You would like to have a superpower of climbing up skyscrapers. No, well, I will have that because the spider will hurt you. Brooksy, what was your superpower? What would you like to have? Fly. To be able to fly? Okay. If you could have one superpower, here's some op other options. You can be A, all-knowing, meaning you can read people's minds. B, all-powerful. You can be like Superman fighting the Hulk. Or C, you can have X-ray vision. You know what X-ray vision does? Let's no. You can see right through buildings and walls and all kinds of yeah, things. Yeah, you can scan things and I see a little arm right there. Just like Spider-Man, or just like Superman, okay? But so look, I see a little arm right there. Look, did you, know that, do you know that Superman has laser eyes? Laser eyes, yeah. yeah. Now, yeah, he can, like, he can, like, make a wall fall down, like, a wall fall down by just, like, like, oh man, just he just stares like, at the wall and it just destroys the wall. Yeah, so like if the bad guys are like trying to trap him, all he has to do is he just like drills a hole with his eyes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so did you know that you both already have superpowers? Huh? What superpowers do every we all have? Every person. What are some that you think we all have? Um, what do you think, Brooks? He said do a job. Yeah, like do something. Yeah. So everybody has a superpower so they can do something, like work and do the job. Okay. What other superpowers come to mind? What? I know. What, Bo? By helping people. By helping people. That is a superpower. You are absolutely right. In fact, we can have... Everybody has at least these three superpowers. A, we can create and imagine and make music and draw paintings and do all kinds of artistic things. And then two, we can do soup, we can have super physical strength. See this guy running? Everybody <laughs> has physical strength. See Papa's muscles? Check out those guns. Ooh. Let's see yours, Brooks. And then what Bo said is absolutely true. The, the other superpower everybody has is the ability to care for other people and love. That's your biggest and best superpower. Mm -hmm. So what is a hero? Let's hear what these people have to say. Drill sergeant once told me that integrity is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. That's what a hero is. And I think heroes come in all form. A hero to me is somebody who's willing to step up, not because they're asked to, but simply because they know it's the right thing to do. A brave individual who goes out of his or her way to protect others. Even when they're scared, they, uh, they give all they got. And they, sometimes you gotta stand up for people who can't stand up for themselves. Okay, who is one of your heroes? Is it one, a teacher? Two, is it a policeman or a fireman? Or three, is it a doctor? Or four, is it an astronaut? Or five, is it your mom and dad? Go and ahead, Bo. Mom and dad. Your I mom and dad's your hero? That's sweet. What do you say, Brooksy? Policeman and fireman. That's and a great choice, too. Yeah. 
Okay, well, those are very brave men and women. And just like the video we just saw, they sacrificed their freedom to help us have ours. And that's pretty much a definition of a hero in my mind. Somebody who's strong Pop. and courageous. Well, if you touch your eyeball, you can see. If, if you touch your eye, you can feel the eyeballs. Oh, man. Is that what heroes do? Feel their eyeballs? Oh, I do feel it. <laughs> oh, I told you. All right. And these are my heroes. All these people in this picture. Can you name them all? Brooks, Eden, Mom, Dad, Elena, Juju, Uncle Robbie, Luke, Mimi, Bo, and Papa. Okay, students. Well, that's the end of our superhero lesson. I hope you've enjoyed it. Was it fun? Yeah. All right. Well, don't forget, always be a hero to your friends and your family because you you got, to the next one. You got superhuman powers. Excuse me. That's a bad outfit. <laughs> Easy, miss. I've got you. You, you've got me. Who's got you? Uh...